Oh, magnesium is a big subject and a very important one. And it's it, it's a offers a real mirror what we're going to be talking about tonight to the ignorance of the medical profession. And I, you know, I you know, I'm very much against personally going to a doctor, to trusting doctors and I believe that most doctors would hurt me or other people. But lately I've been into using an analogy and saying, well, you're better off going to a gas station. You know, in a gas station, you go to a gas station, usually, or, or all the time, the gas station attendant understands he puts the gas in the tank. And the gas in the tank helps, the, you know, makes the car go. And you need oil and you need water. And you need a battery. And, of course, you have the engine there. And you, they know that. Magnesium, and it's not just magnesium, we could talk about iodine, we could talk about selenium, we could talk about the basic minerals and nutrition in general. But magnesium is an essential mineral that almost, almost everybody is deficient in. And its deficiency causes a lot of disease. And doctors, your regular standard rank and file member of the AMA, or other medical organizations have not haven't a clue. They don't recommend it to their patients. Surgeons don't use it normally before, during, and after treatment to make surgery safer. They don't know. They don't. They don't think. So how can you trust a gas station attendant doesn't know where the gas goes, or that it even needs gas? So magnesium is a, is a very important subject. Uh, magnesium it remains at, number one in my protocol. As I've de developed for years and brought in other wonderful items into my protocol, magnesium has remained number one.